hello friends welcome back to the channel techno 49 i hope everyone is safe in today's video i would be including five important workforce management interview questions that are generally asked during the interviews for more workforce management call center excel related videos please subscribe and share our youtube channel so that video can reach to maximum people and can be beneficial for the people who are trying to get into workforce management so now let's start with the, i have provided answers along with the questions so now the question is that what is AHT forecast accuracy? Option A actual AHT divided by forecast AHT. Option B forecast AHT divided by actual AHT. Option C do not know. So now let's wait for 10 seconds and please provide your answer. So you have 10 seconds to answer these questions. And if you know the answer, please just mention in the comment section. So let's wait for the 10 seconds. Okay, so the correct answer is that option a actual hd divided by forecast hd let's go to the second question what we have question is that if overall service level is 90 percent against target of 80 percent so would average speed of answer be lower or higher option we have option a average speed of answer would be higher option b average speed of answer would be lower option c both option a and b so now let's wait for 10 seconds Please think what could be the correct answer of this. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is that average speed of answer would be lower. Option B. If service level is 90% against target of 80%, so it means that all the calls are getting answered as soon as possible and the customers are not waiting on the line. So it means that average speed of answer would be lower when service level is higher. Let's go to the third question what we have. So the third question is that what is forecast to actual workload? Option A, offered calls multiplied by actual AHT divided by forecasted calls multiplied by forecasted AHT. Option B, forecasted calls multiplied by forecasted AHT divided by offered calls multiplied by actual AHT. Let's wait for 10 seconds and if you know the answer, please mention in the comment section. So the correct answer is option A, offered calls multiplied by actual AHT divided by forecasted calls multiplied by forecasted AHT. Let's go to the next question what we have. What is staffing index formula? Option A, actual FTE divided by required FTE. Option B, required FTE divided by actual FTE. Option C, maybe option B. So now let's wait for 10 seconds. Please think what could be the correct answer of this question so the correct answer of this question is option a actual fte divided by required fte so that is used in finding out the number of fte or number of agents required so that would be option a actual fte divided by required fte let's go to the last question what we have what is agent productivity formula option a agent productive time plus other productive time divided by agent work time without training option b agent staff time plus all productive and non-productive box divided by agent login time option c do not know so now let's wait for 10 seconds and see that what could be the correct answer of this question Okay, so the correct answer for this question is that option A, agent productive time plus other productive time that includes your billable time or the client or that has been approved by the client divided by agent work time without training, any kind of coaching or any other non-productive boxes which are not billable. So the correct answer is option A. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe and share for more videos. 